um, you want to learn quantitative trading from scratch. Yes, That's sir. That's a big job. Obviously, I know you've got a lot of programming experience, uh, but your Python is, you're pretty new to Python, as far as I understand. So um, why do we even use Python? I think um, it's a really, really great uh, starting place. Um, and one of the really cool things is that you can do a lot of really amazing quantitative stuff um, fairly easily without like having a lot of uh, programming to do. You know, a lot of it is just packaged up nicely and it's relatively easy uh, to get started comparatively to say C++ or something like this. And uh, that makes it really easy. And then also Python has a lot of really amazing uh, machine learning packages, uh, statistical packages, finance packages, plotting the whole lot. So it's actually pretty cool. And um, I guess the way we do this experience here is that we just get started. And I literally take you through an enormous range of quantitative finance. Um, starting from zero. <laughs> mm -hmm. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll go through what I think is interesting. And so maybe sometimes we go off on tangents. You ask me questions, and I'm sure the questions that you have is probably uh, a lot of what a lot of people have. So it's not going to be smooth. So all we do is totally ad hoc. <laughs> uh, but uh, that's just how it goes. And I think it's super interesting. All right, so let's get started. Now, um, one of the things uh, to get started is Python uses packages. And two of the packages uh, that we generally always need are uh, NumPy and Matplotlib. Matplotlib is a plotting package, and NumPy is a package for solve or for you know using arrays and so on for mathematics, basically. So what I'll do is, um, I import this here, so we go import numpy s n p. Can you see my screen all right, or should I make it a bit larger? No, oh, it's good. actually I need to make it a bit larger, so I can see it. And then we also import um, matplotlib dot pyplot s p l t. All right. So, so basically. Um, what we're doing here is we're working in a Google Colab environment. And Google Colab is great because you don't have to have any packages installed on your computer. It's all on the Google server. And so whatever you do, uh, the packages, you don't need to do anything on your computer. You can actually do it all in the cloud. And to get started, this is amazing. Uh, later on, you obviously really want to have your packages on your own computer. And you can install Anaconda for that or uh, some other packages or directly uh, downloaded from Python. Now, um, one other interesting package uh, that we should also get, but this is not part of the um, Google standard library, is uh, a package called YFinance. And YFinance is basically a package that lets us download market data from the internet. And it's a really handy tool. And the way to do this is we go pip install yfinance. So pip is uh, a Python install program, PIP. I think that's what it stands for. And when we run it, uh, you can actually see that, that uh, Google Finance installs uh, this yfinance on our server here. And so now that we have the package installed, we also need to import it. So we need to do import by finance. And we import this SYF. So this is a typical um, this is a typical Python thing that instead of always using the long form of these packages, you usually use a short form. Uh, makes it much easier. If you want <clears throat> if you want to run these, um, Google uh, these Colab things, you can click this button here on the side, this arrow button, or you can also do Shift-Enter, and it runs it as well. 